good afternoon to all of you. Today, let's have a discussion on a very important topic, because many semesters may as part of the syllabus here, that is the cell division in plants. Cell division is a very important component of a cell. Cells, as all of you know, is the basic unit, structural and functional unit of life. जैसे कि species is the basic unit of classification इसी तरीके से हम कह सकते हैं कि this cell is the basic functional unit of life cells contain very important genetic carriers these genetic carriers are called as chromosomes the chromosome numbers can vary from species to species it varies from plants also, it varies from animals also. Chromosomes are present in the master molecule that is DNA, that is deoxyribose nucleic acid. DNA is the genetic information carrier. We say sometimes that this boy or girl looks like her father or mother actually. These are the characters which has been passed from parents to offsprings. This whole science is called heredity and the variation is called as variability. Cell division, where is cell division? Ka hai. As the name indicates, cells divide. Cells ko divide hona hai in order to give the genetic material to the cells. Two types of cell divisions have been recognized so far, that is mitosis and number second is meiosis. Mitosis ko dusra naam diya gaya hai equational division and meiosis ko naam diya gaya hai reductional division. We have to always remember that in case of mitosis, there is a cell and this cell is divided into two cells having exactly the same genetic material that was present in the parent cell. This mitosis has being categorized or it is divisible into four stages. Number first is prophase, number second is metaphase, number third is anaphase, and number fourth is telophase. These are the four stages we have always to remember that in four stages mitosis gets completed. These stages are prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. Interphase division is a bit earlier than prophase. Here you can see the clear. Uh, first of all, we have to understand that plant cell and animal cell. In plants, we find a well defined cell wall. Or is this cell wall ke under chromatin material present hota hai? It contains nucleus, it contains a nuclear membrane. Nuclear membrane is the surrounding that surrounds the nucleus, or nucleus ke under. This is the nuclear membrane hota hai, which covers the nucleus, and this is the nucleolus seen inside the nucleus. And this thread like structures are called as chromatin. Chromatin is actually a combination of DNA and proteins. Proteins are of two types. Histones and non histones, that's a big topic we have to see earlier, inshallah, in later stages. Chromatin is a combination of is a combination of DNA and proteins. Now, when the cell will travel from, it will go in the early prophase and late prophase. These are the two stages. What will happen? thin thread-like structures, they will condense. Have a look now. You will see the clear-cut difference here. The chromatin is here, thin thread-like structures, 
these are long thin type structures and they are here in late prophase they are they have they have condensed they have lost water and made made the chromosomes when we have a look on the structure of the chromosomes hame yaad rakhna hai the, the chromosome consists of two parts connected at one point these two parts are called as chromatids and these chromatids are joined at one point this is called as centromere as you can clearly see here the two points the two points the two points here these these are the chromatids these are two chromatids they are joined together at one point and this one point is called as centromere centromere is that point where two chromatids are joined together now when the cell will pass prophase jab ye cell nikhegi ye enter ho jayegi metaphase par hame yaad rakhna hai ki metaphase par ek metaphase par ye chromosomes ek hi line par aate hain just like this ek is line ko bolte hain equatorial plane ye sare chromosome ek hi line mein aate hain this is called equatorial plane ab ye do poles ek cell ke do poles hai do poles hai ye chromosomes ek hi point par aaye hain and these two poles yahan par rays like structures generate hote hain these are called as spindle fibers spindle fibers this line is called equatorial plane the chromosome equatorial plane par sab chha jate hain baith jate hain ek hi line par and in order to agar hame kisi animal or plant ka chromosome number count karna hai we say that these this metaphase is the best stage for counting the chromosome numbers for counting the chromosome numbers now spindle fibers generate honge ye spindle fibers yahan par centromere ke paas ye connected connection milta hai inka yahan se bhi from upper end and lower end se spindle fibers generate hote hain ye centromere ke sath jud jate hain after the cell passes from metaphase to anaphase there is the generation of some motive force ये अगर क्रोमोसोम्स ऐसे थे मेटाफेज पर जब स्पिटल फाइबर्स यहां से भी आ गए यहां से भी आ गए ये स्पिटल फाइबर्स तो क्रोम ये फॉर एग्जांपल क्रोमो सेंट्रोमियर है ये सेंट्रोमियर के साथ जुड़ जाते हैं ये स्पिटल फाइबर्स ये इज अ जनरेशन ऑफ द मोटिव फोर्स और ऐसे हो जाता है ऐसे ऐसे दीस देयर इज जनरेशन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोमोटिव फोर्स दीस स्पिटल फाइबर्स पुल दीस क्रोमोसोम्स अपार्ट एंड दीस क्रोमोसोम्स गो टू अपोजिट पोल्स This is the stage. Yeah, यहां देखिए आप यहां पर एक ही लाइन पर है क्रोमोसोम्स जनरेशन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन मोटिव फोर्स स्पिटल फाइबर्स अटैच हो गए हैं एंड दीज क्रोमोसोम्स आर पुल्ड अपार्ट टुवर्ड्स अपोजिट पोल्स इन एनाफेज आप यहां देखिए यहां पर एक सेल वॉल था यहां पर सेल वॉल डिसअपीयर हो गया है लेकिन टीरोफेज में ये क्रोमोसोम डिकंडेंस होते हैं दिस बिकम थिन थ्रेड लाइक वंस अगेन सेल वॉल जो था वो भी एक होने लगा है यहां पर एक एक थैग्माप्लास्ट है थैग्माप्लास्ट इज अ स्ट्रक्चर व्हिच इज व्हिच गेट्स व्हिच अराइज फ्रॉम द बॉल्बी बॉडी यहां पर द सेल बिगिंस टू डिवाइड यहां पर सेंट्रल प्लेट्स बनते हैं यानी कि थैग्माप्लास्ट ये बॉल्बी बॉडी से आ जाता है द सेल डिवाइड्स इनटू टू सेल्स हैव एग्जैक्टली सेम काइंड ऑफ जेनेटिक मटेरियल और यहां पर आप देखिए इंटरफेस में सेल फिर से वापस चली गई है सो इन नटशेल वी कैन से दैट इन केस ऑफ माइटोसिस इट इज इक्वेशनल डिवीजन यहां पर एक सेल दो डॉटर सेल में डिवाइड होती है हैव एग्जैक्टली द सेम क्रोमोसोम नंबर एज कंपेयर्ड टू दैट ऑफ द पेरेंट सेल थैंक यू वेरी मच